Good morning, Print Fam. Today is all about getting the white toner transfers done. I just counted what I did on Saturday, and I have 20 big ones, which means I have roughly 30 small ones. So, a lot more to go. I have to have 100 backs and 130 fronts. Um, so, 130 small ones, 100 big ones. So, lots more to go. The heat press is warming up. I currently have about five sheets printed. I'm going to try to not overprint, and I haven't been counting, and some of them get ruined. and So, I'm just counting kind of as I go at this point. So, that's the main goal today. Um, I guess other kind of interesting news is Grimco, the people I bought my printer from, are opening a location here in Utah. It doesn't say where, it just says that they are opening their door on February 3rd. And so begins the heat pressing day. Like I said earlier, I counted out, I have 20 big ones done, so I have about 30 small ones done. I've got a bunch of papers here ready to go. So it's just sad that these take two minutes a piece and then probably another minute to peel and then back at it. So I'll be here for quite a long time today. All right, guys, I don't feel like I'm doing too bad. I've got 30 big ones done, 50 small ones done, and two that are done just needing to cut up. Um, this is my bad bin, my garbage. And I don't feel like I'm doing terrible with the spoilage. Um, looks like I've got five or six fronts, like full fronts, or not fronts, big ones, and a few small ones. The small ones I'm not as worried about because I'm able to fit three per sheet, and the big ones only two. So really, as long as I don't screw up a ton of the um, small ones, then I'll have way, way too many left over. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, things are going along smooth. I definitely think it's going to take me a good chunk of the day. It's about 12, 11, 12 right now. Um, so I've done 10, 10 so far, well, 14 so far-ish today. So it's going to be a long one. And this is pretty much what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go ahead and print some business cards that I need to take to B&I tomorrow. So I got the Konica warmed up. Hopefully I can get a few more print projects in today as well. So I can be doing more than just waiting for this thing to be off. All right, print fan. Just thought I'd give you an update about what's going on. It's almost 1 o'clock. We have got 60 backs done and about 84 fronts done. So we are making some really good progress. We've got 40 more backs to do. So 20 more sheets of paper. And that should get me all the backs and all the fronts. And I think I will have, I think I'll have enough paper to do 20 more sheets. So um, other than that, I got some prints done for Bob. I got those business cards printed. Um, so things are looking really good. I do have to run and drop these off as soon as they're done. And I also need to pick up some more hats. So I'm, the company I'm doing this order for does my embroidery for big projects. And um, I had them do like a two and a half inch tall design and it didn't work. And so I shrunk it down to two, but it ruined some of the hats. So I gotta go get some replacements. Um, luckily the, the place I get them from is in Salt Lake. so. I can run and get those and hopefully get that all taken care of today. So, just a little update about what's going on. More heat transfers. Gotta print some more. I'm out.
All right, Perth fam, I am finally done with all those transfers. I am on my way to the post office right now to see if I have any packages because I'm pretty sure I will. Um, a couple of the orders are like five, six boxes each, so I'm gonna have to go back with the truck to get them, but I th think they're there, so I'm gonna check that out. I also have to drop some packages off for my wife and then I'm gonna deliver the transfers and then hopefully go pick up some hats. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. My fingers are definitely in a lot of pain from peeling all those transfers. It is definitely super hot. Um, so if you have any suggestions of ways to help not hurt the fingers so bad, I tried. We have an of glove for cooking, but it's just, it's too thick. So I can't grab onto the paper. Um, but if you have any other suggestions of maybe ways to help protect the fingers, I would love to know. So I ought to do these deliveries. Um, one thing to note, I've already met my invoice goal for the day. So party. And I realized that I haven't told you if I met my goal the last few days. Saturday, I did not meet it. Friday, I did not meet it. Thursday, I did meet it. So, not bad. So, off to the deliveries and other errands. All right, got the transfers dropped off, and I feel really bad for them. They do a lot of transfers, and they currently have three or four orders that are 100 plus pieces that are all due by Wednesday. So I feel really bad for them because I felt bad for myself doing one order that was a couple hundred pieces. It was for them. And initially they got an email at like two o'clock saying that the order that I dropped off was due today. And they're like, we don't even have transfers yet. Find out it's due Wednesday, but still that's no fun. Turns out 10 of the hats are damaged, so I'm ready to pick up the replacement hats right now, and then I'm going to get back, and they're actually embroidering the last of the hats right now, so I'll get back, they'll throw them on the machine, we'll get them embroidered, and then I'll be able to deliver those to my customer. Um, they have three five or six head machines, and then one one head. to where I'm picking up the hats and I haven't been this way before I usually come the other direction but I thought it was funny this road is called printers row so apparently there's a bunch of printers here if it's that much related to printing that they call it printers row I knew there was a place here oh, here print finishing specialties I knew there was a place in Salt Lake where there were a bunch of printers all together. I didn't realize that this is where it was. There's some printing. Uh, let's see. Uh, those are the only two I see so far, but I think it's kind of funny that there's a road called Printer's Row. All right, Print Fam, it is 6.30. It is time to call it quits for the day. Um, I messaged my customer on the way home from getting those hats and he was already home for the day so I'll get those delivered tomorrow. I've also got some latex printing to do tomorrow um, and some weeding to do. The weeding is the reverse weeding that I talked about the other day. I still haven't done that but I've got it out on the table so I gotta get that done. Print a couple things on the latex printer tomorrow and then do a couple of deliveries. So, as far as meeting my goal, I'm pretty sure I already told you, I did meet my goal, so that's great. Um, 
case anyone cares, inbox is at 19 right now. So not the best, not terrible, not the best. Someday I'm gonna probably declare email bankruptcy, but we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, that's about it for today. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, etc., leave those questions down in the comments. Thank you, Cam, for editing the videos. Really appreciate you. And if you guys want to support the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. You can do it by subscribing, liking the video, sharing with friends. Monetarily, you can use like the Amazon affiliate links down in the description, buy business cards, stickers, etc. from us. Any way you support the channel, we greatly appreciate. So, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.